of the Father's love begotten, ere the worlds began to be. He is Alpha and Omega, He the source, the ending, He. All the things that are that have been, and that future years shall see. Evermore and evermore. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Friday, January the 10th. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 139. And John chapter 10, verse 7 to 17. And I ask you to please bear with me. I'm suffering from a cold. and So I have some uh, congestion in the sinuses and a very scratchy, irritated throat. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, my God, you have searched me and known me. Alleluia, Psalm 139. Alleluia, my God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up and you understand my thoughts from afar. You know my waking and my lying down, and you are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O God, know it altogether. You have beset me behind and before, and you have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, and I cannot attain it. Where can I hide from you? Where can I run from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, the night shall be light around me. Even the darkness is not dark for you, but the light night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you have created my inmost being. You have stitched me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and I know them well. My body was not hid from you when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes beheld my body unfinished in the womb, and in your book all my members were written, which day by day were fashioned, when as yet there were none of them. How precious are your thoughts to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Surely you will slay the wicked, O God. The bloodthirsty must depart from me. For they speak against you wickedly, and your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate them, O God, that hate you? And am I not grieved with those that rise against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them as my enemies. Search me, my God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wickedness in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, my God, you have searched me and known me. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 10, beginning at verse 7. And so again Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits. But the sheep did not listen to them. <clears throat> I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. 
I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and love of Christ to all. For Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. For the mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, that God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Beloved Creator, we praise you for your wonderful works, and we thank you for our own marvelous creation. You know everything about us before we even know ourselves. Cast our sins behind your back. Lead us in your everlasting way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>